Creating layers. When you first start working on a design, you may want to create your layers first. So how do we do that? Well, you can do that by selecting the layer properties icon on the layers panel, or you can come to the command line and type in layer and press enter. That again will bring us to the layer properties manager. You can select this icon here to create a new layer. This one we'll call circle and press comma so we can easily have a new layer created. We'll call this one line and we'll press enter. Let's come over to the color and we will select a color for the lines. It's easiest to pick among these nine colors here before you start playing with these colors in the index color, the true color, or the color books. We'll get into those in a little more detail later. But for now, try to keep with these colors. I will pick green. OK. Let's select the circle, and we'll pick a color for the circles. I'll try red. OK. And we'll go ahead and close this out. And as you can see in the layers panel, if we click here, we can see we have our two new layers that we created. Well, let's go ahead and make a circle. I'll click the circle to activate the circle command. And go ahead and draw a circle. And you notice our circle is white. Well, what happened is we drew it on the default layer. Now, in order to change that, we can go ahead and select the circle and then move it to the circle layer. I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect. And now our circle is on the correct layer. But you can also notice after hitting escape, I'm back to the default layer. Well, let's go ahead and actually switch layers. Now I'm on the line layer. I can go ahead and activate the line command, draw a line, draw another line. And as you can see, the line is green, exactly like the layer that we want it to be on. Let's go ahead and see if we drew it on the default layer. If I draw a line, it's going to be white because that's the color set to that layer. This is an easy way to help you to organize your drawing. And again, you can go ahead and select the line and pick the layer that you want it to be on.